Norman Bates is the main character in the classic movie, Psycho. In the beginning of the movie, it appears that he is a loving son devoted to his mother, the maintenance of their motel, and his hobby of taxidermy. However, as the story unfolds, it seems that something is wrong among the Bates family. For majority of the movie, it is inferred that Norman and his mother are two separate characters, with his mother being extremely manipulative and controlling, which is apparent in Norman's submissive actions and his incessant need to please his mother. When Lila Cranes comes searching for her missing sister, Marion Crane, she discovers the twisted secret of Norman Bates. Dissociative Identity Disorder has five distinct characteristics. The first, and perhaps most prominent, is the disruption of identity, characterized by the presence of two or more distinct personality states. In Norman Bates' case, his own personality is characterized as one, with his mother's personality as the other state. The second characteristic of dissociative identity disorder is the reoccurring breaks in memory, including events and important personal information. The third characteristic is the symptoms cause significant clinical distress or impairment in social, occupational, or other areas of functioning. The fourth feature is that the particular disturbance is not a normal part of a broadly accepted cultural or religious practice. And the fifth feature is the symptoms are not derived from the physiological effects of substances or another medical condition. By the end of the movie, Norman's condition is revealed, and it demonstrates the presence of two distinct personalities, his own and his mother. As well, Norman's condition caused significant distress to himself and those around him. His mother's personality is controlling and violent and feels threatened when women come into Norman's life. This is why his mother's personality murders Marion after Norman has sexualized her by watching her through the hole in between their rooms. Norman's condition is not viewed as normal in society and is not caused by substances or another explained medical condition. Never in the movie does it allude to Norman using substances in order to deal with his mother's death, which is the tragic event that caused the dissociative identity disorder. Norman is missing the symptom above, recurrent gaps in the recall of everyday events, important personal information, and or traumatic events that are inconsistent with ordinary forgetting. The movie does not show him having blackouts and forgetting what he has done earlier that day. In the film, Norman is aware what his mother's personality has done to the woman, and he tries to cover his crime up by lying to the police officer and to the woman's family. The film does not explicitly demonstrate Norman showing that he has forgotten chunks of time. While there is not a cure for dissociative identity disorder, psychoanalytic is an effective form of therapy. Psychoanalytic therapy is a form of talk therapy that focuses on uncovering the unconscious motives that underlie psychological problems. Hypnosis, dream interpretation, and free association are all three examples of psychoanalytic treatments that assist in uncovering the unconscious. It would be recommended for Norman to attend a form of psychoanalytic therapy in order to discover the root of his issue, which is his attachment to his mother. Antidepressant medication would be recommended in order to treat some of the emotional symptoms that Norman feels. These treatments would not cure Norman, but in time would alleviate some of the symptoms of dissociative identity disorder. Psychotherapy and psychoanalytic treatment are the most appropriate form of treatment because dissociative identity disorder is not a psychotic condition. While there are relatively no ethical concerns with psychoanalytic therapy, the antidepressant medication could cause unnecessary re-traumatization of Norman because he could feel as if he is being controlled. The film is an accurate portrayal of dissociative identity disorder. The film does demonstrate the different symptoms of the condition and clearly depicting two personalities stemming from the tragic death of Norman's mother. His mother's controlling behavior before her death causes Norman to assume her identity after she dies in order to protect himself from living without her. However, the film depicts that having dissociative identity disorder can result in brutal behavior leading to murder. With proper treatment, the condition can be treated in order to stray from vicious actions. The portrayal of psychological disorders in movies is usually shown to be more violent, therefore creating the idea that all individuals with a psychological disorder are murderers and violent. This, however, is definitely not true. Just by the title of the movie, Psycho, it already creates a connotation that individuals with psychological disorders are psychotic, unstable, and insane. However, in most cases, people with psychological disorders are trying to acquire help to treat their issues.